everyone, today we are going to be talking about 10.2 Vengeance Demon Hunter because I'm kind of now starting to think this is going to be the meta tank. We just got some more 10.2 PTR news talking about Vengeance and there have been some changes along the way. So let's get with the changes, let's see where I think they're going and let's talk about some opinions that I have with Vengeance in comparison to some other tanks. So on the... Uh, on the like patch notes or whatever they said dark glare boon and sigil of misery have swapped talent locations this is actually sigil of chains and dark glare boon not sigil of misery just a typo along the way so if we open up the talent tree you can see sigil of chains is now where dark glare boon used to be and uh dark glare boon is where sigil of chains was which was the is the original place of fodder to the flame elysian decree currently on live so that is very I mean, it's kind of a whatever change. Uh, I do like the fact that it makes Sigil of Chains easier to get, but we're going to be talking about this when we start talking, comparing about other tanks, uh, because I'm not happy there. But yeah, so, uh, and Dark Lair Boon is there. Easy peasy, nothing nothing really to go crazy about there. Fell Devastation's cooldown is now reduced to a baseline 40 seconds. Was one minute. Vengeance is only looking better for next patch. It's absolutely cracked. Fiery Brand now deals damage every one second, was two seconds, but its damage was halved to compensate. So it deals damage twice as much, but it deals half as much damage. So really the same thing. More of a quality of life increase, but burning alive it now uh, causes Fiery Brand to spread every one second. One of the problems with Fiery Brand on live right now is, well... When you set it up with your first one, it takes two whole seconds for it to split and go to someone else. And it, during that time, you can feel incredibly uh, squishy. Let's just call that. So this is just a nice quality of life increase. If you're planning on playing a Fiery Brand build, I actually like this. And given the fact that Down in Flames is now a choice node with Illuminated Sigils, although why would you ever take Illuminated, not take Illuminated Sigils? Like, you're basically, like... Two charges of Sigil of Silence, Misery, Chains, and Elysian Decree, and Sigil of Flames. Like, you're just, why are you not playing this? Like, that's absolutely cracked. Uh, this, I think, is more than enough to probably cement, uh, cement Vengeance into being the meta tank. I really do at this point. There's a lot of different options. I've been playing around with different builds. It's a lot of fun. I really like the synergies with... Everything and the amount of stops that you have is absolutely cracked out. It is just stupid. Like I said, two charges of Sigil of Chains. Sigil of Misery on a 1.5 minute cooldown with two charges. Elysian Decree, nice big damage. Sigil of Flames. Like, it's just... It's really? And you still have Chaos Nova and in prison? Why on earth is Protection Warrior Shockwave? I'll put up the talent tree there. A capstone. The one AOE stun is a capstone, and Vengeance gets this, and they get Sigil of Chains not even as a capstone talent. It's a middle row talent. Boo! Okay. Oh, let's talk about Blood Decay for a second. Blood Decay still has Gorfiend's Graph with two capstone talent points you're not even talking about things being fair anymore and it really does surprise me that vengeance went th they went this hard on the rework with vengeance given that all right i will admit the tier was doing a lot of work for vengeance currently in 10.2 a lot of work and without that tier i don't think they would be super relevant in the conversation but they're already getting a good tier set and they're getting a redesign around this tier set. But you just saw what happened with Bear, right? Like, look what happened with Bear in 10.1.5. I can tell you there was not many people playing Bear. Pre 10.1.5. I know I was one of the few. They were still a joke. 10.1.5 happens and a light talent reshuffle with a current tuning on some talents and they exploded into the meta to become what they currently are, and though well, they're getting gutted and, and everywhere in between. This is, well, PTR, the thing is, is you can tell certain things about the PTR by, oh, it's a numbers game and there's tuning, yes, but there's also broken design. 
and this has officially entered in my mind broken design getting 20 percent parry from enemies effect, effect, uh, affected by your sigil of chains having full uptime on demon spikes and having 15 percent parry there you are now just baseline getting 35 percent parry most of the time that doesn't even account for your crit critical strike yet so you're just gaining massive defensive benefits along the way you're going to have the most amount of stops from any tank ever. Like, there's no tank that can compete. And it's not even close. Uh, you're also going to do a lot of damage. I think you're going to have a very fun playstyle. And I don't want to take this away from Vengeance. I think the Vengeance rework is good. I like the design. I like where they're going with everything. But then you start comparing vengeance and the rework that they're giving vengeance to other tanks and other tanks are being left to rot and that's where i'm like what i've been saying since the beta of dragonflight that shockwave is not a capstone talent for warrior it's not it shouldn't be should have never considered i'm like we could go back to those videos i have made entire videos on this and this it's it's just not <laughs> and now vengeance is getting this scorpion's grass should not be a capstone talent for blood decays and then you look at what vengeance is getting two charges of the sigil of chains yeah one of them's a capstone but it's literally a byproduct sigil, sigil of chains has an additional charge so 25 percent of that like it's just it's absolutely crap i'm really excited for vengeance and what's to come for them i really really am they haven't had their time in the limelight what? Some, they've been they're never really the worst tank that's kind of the thing with vengeance right they they haven't really been the worst tank they're always average to good uh they're very rarely the meta but they're rarely ever the bear and let's just call it that tier right um yeah lots lots of craziness happening there and i can go over the other tanks as well like what look at brewmaster the brewmaster tree the capstones are complete terrible um when you start comparing like okay like you look at the capstone for just the class tree for vengeance right you have collective anguish hunt and elysian decree monk you don't even like you don't even take a capstone you, you can take the jade sa uh, statue if you really want it for like uh like a pinky of damage increase it's laughable to the point that i don't even play it and don't even notice it saves me a global from having to put it down there are other tanks that are now in desperate need of any sort of rework, and this rework to me highlights that so incredibly strong. When you're comparing trees now and talents and everything compa like comparatively, <laughs> like we kind of all went in on the same playing field in the first season of Dragonflight, right? We kind of all went in, we're like, okay. We got some new adjustments. Some of us are a little bit stronger here, there, like, you know. But then now we've got, you know, Paladin rework, which has still been incredibly strong. We now have Bear, and uh, other tanks are, like, this needs to happen faster for other tanks. And one of the things that I said for a long time is Blizzard needs to have a tank developer. Not a vengeance developer, bear one, a monk, or whatever, working on things separately. But they need to have someone that tanks and understands tanks to make this an even playing field. Because this isn't an even playing field anymore. And that's kind of one of my arguments there. But this is going on nine minutes. What do you guys think? Uh, I just, I kind of wanted to put my thoughts and opinions out there. Have yourselves a good one. Happy tanking.